<laughs> hey, we are Nick and Meg, and we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn more about our desire to grow our family. Yeah, thank you. We grew up in different parts of the country. I grew up in Philadelphia. Nick grew up in California, but now we live in Texas. And we've been married for about 10 years, just celebrating our 10-year wedding anniversary. And, you know, we've experienced joy, we've experienced sadness, but, you know, through all of our time together, we're really grateful for just the joys of being together. You know, we were hoping to be raising kids by now. We had two pretty significant losses, our son Luke and our daughter Elizabeth. Uh, we know the love that parents have for their child and how real that is. But we um, now know and believe that God's plan for us involved raising kids through adoption. And we um, are thankful, even though it's been very hard, we're thankful that God has used our difficult experiences to expand our hearts. And we know that we'll welcome a child into our home. They may not be ours biologically, but will be indeed our child. And we're excited about that. Yeah, so when I think about Meg, I am uh, just so amazed by her positivity and her resilience. As of now, she works full time at a job, but she also manages to care for me and for our dog, Kevin, who will undoubtedly be making an appearance in this video. Yeah. Uh, and what I, what I so appreciate about Meg is her ability to welcome people into our home. We're very involved in our church and we have friends over all the time. A lot of those friends have kids and Meg's willingness and eagerness to care for kids who are not her own is on display almost every weekend. I think she's gonna be an amazing mom and I'm so grateful for her to be able to have the opportunity to love and care for her own child. Nick brings a lot of fun and adventure to our life. He spends a lot of time with our friends' kids who always consider him to be a lot of fun and laugh at all of his jokes. Nick is also a great mountain biker and full of adventure, always suggesting new things for us to do. Nick also is a pastor, and so church is a really big part of our life, and it brings a lot of kind of community and people together, and uh, people always respect Nick. They love Nick. They love the things that he brings when we're in groups together. When we lived in Kansas City before we lived in Texas, he actually started an after-school club for about 50 kids, and he played basketball with them, and he joked around with them, and they were always looking forward to hanging out with him. And I know that he'll show that same level of care to our own child. I think he's going to be a great dad. I think he's going to be a fun dad. I'm sure we're going to have some interesting trips, interesting things to do, and adventures that I know we're both really looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, another one of the reasons why we're so eager to grow our family is because of the families that we came from. Um, I have loving parents, you have loving parents, we have siblings, we have nieces and nephews, future cousins, and uh, we both come from parents who love God and are strong in their faith and are gonna be so eager and willing to accept the child that we have and bring them into our respective families. Because we don't currently live near any of our immediate family, we spend a lot of time with our friend family. Um, we just had a bunch of people over here for Easter and we made pie and we had lunch outside and spent a lot of time with them and their kids and their dogs. So our community and our kind of extended family of friends through church is, is really important to us and we know we'll be really supportive when we're raising kids. Yeah, so we are in our home and we love our home. The home is really at the center of our lives. You work from home and will indefinitely. And I'm at the church often, but uh, I also work from home. So we're around each other and we're around in our house a lot. One of the things I love the most about our house is the neighborhood that we're in. There's an elementary school just a half a mile away. There's tons of kids, there's tons of trees. We love taking our dog on a walk and meeting our neighbors, looking at all the beautiful houses. Yeah, we really love where we live. We live in the city of Austin, which is a very vibrant, exciting, growing city. There's always stuff to do. There's always people out running and paddleboarding and biking and doing all kinds of things outside. We love that about the city. We love going out and about. We love the adventure of it. And there's great museums and parks and playgrounds. It's a really great city for families. Yeah, I think our life uh, oftentimes it consists of rhythms and things that we do at different times of the year. And we think about the way our year would look when we're raising a kid and we're really excited to share with them some of our favorite activities. The season of spring is all about new life. We plant flowers in the garden. We enjoy the end of winter and the beginning of sunshine. We have people over to entertain. It's a really great time of the year. And summer is one of our favorite seasons. Summer is full of adventure. If you live in Texas, it is hot, but we really enjoy going out and being outside and playing outside. And we take trips with our families. We'll take trips into the mountains and go hiking. And we just really look forward to introducing kids into that experience. Fall for me is about football. So I, uh, we lived in Kansas City for a number of years prior to coming to Austin and I became a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. My favorite thing to do in the fall is on Sundays, 
put on a game. Uh, you love to feast, you love to cook Thanksgiving dinner with your family, and we both really love the time of the fall for family and being around lots of those people. Winter is also one of our favorite seasons. It gets dark earlier, it's quieter, it's calmer, we have the holidays continuing, um, the weather is amazing. Christmas is always a really fun time at church, we have lots of services, so winter is one of our favorite times. So we want to thank you for, again, taking the time to watch this video. But more than that, we want to thank you for the role that you are playing in completing God's plan for your child's life. As you know, God has a wonderful plan for your child's life, and it's your bravery and it's your sacrifice that's making all of that possible. And we promise to do everything in our power to make your child happy, to love them unconditionally, to give them opportunities to succeed, to pray for them, and to create a home where they become the person that God created them to be. Uh, we also pledge to remain connected to you at whatever level of openness you prefer. We want you to remain a positive, loving um, presence in your child's life, and we um, want to make that possible. We also want to let you know that we are praying for you and we are praying for your child. And one of the Bible verses that has meant a lot to us through this process is 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. See what love God has lavished on us that we would be called children of God. And so with that, thank you again for watching this video. You are a child of God and we are praying for you. Thank you.